What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. So a large population of people with smartphones don't even use them to the full of its potential. Remember, a smartphone is just not a phone to take pictures, go on social media, watch videos, and texting. A smartphone is a PC in your pocket. So I have a few LG devices here, and I'm going to show you some things that are going to blow your mind. I'm going to show you desktop mode on the LG devices. So it's going to be a good one. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up, guys? This is Eric back with another video. So you pay hundreds or sometimes even thousands of dollars on a smartphone and you never use it for what it's intended to do. Look, I have the LG V60 here. Very good device, right? The LG Wing, the LG Velvet, the LG G8. All of these devices got what's called desktop mode. So let me give you a scenario. What if you're out of town and you're in the scenario which you need a PC to get work done? and you don't have a laptop or a computer or even internet like Wi-Fi. Well, the device you have in your pocket can handle that. So check this out, right? I'm going to show you two ways that you could connect your LG devices to a TV or monitor. These devices is very powerful. A lot of people don't even know about desktop mode. A lot of people believe that you need a laptop or a computer to get work done. That's not the case. Let's talk about it. First, with newer TVs, you have what's called HDMI or USB type C ports on the back of it. Well, that's very simple. All you got to do is connect USB type C to USB type C to your monitor or TV and boom, you got desktop mode. But if you don't, have a USB type C uh, to, to your TV. You could buy a module or you could buy USB type C to HDMI. I have this little module here that has so many ports on here. This right here is a desktop of its own, right? You have uh, uh, HDMI, you got uh, micro SD uh, support, you have USB support for mouse and stuff like that. So you can use something like this to get to take full advantage of hard drives and, and uh, SD cards and stuff like that. So this is a very good module and I will leave this link down in the description below if you wanna pick this up. So now you have the HDMI to USB type C plugged into your LG devices. Now what's the difference between these devices? There's some differences between the LG Wings, the LG G8 and the LG V60. For some strange reason, the LG V60 has been tweaked in software that's different from the rest. Unfortunately, that's the case. Even though you run an Android 11, for some strange reason, LG has the LG V60 a little different from the rest. So let's talk about it. Here's the difference between the LG V60 and the rest of the devices. The LG V60 can be used as a standalone device in desktop mode without needing an external keyboard and mouse. The LG V60 allow you to use the device as a keyboard and mouse. Again, unfortunately, these other devices will not work unless you have an external keyboard and mouse. That's unfortunate. So looking at desktop mode, both of them work the same with some minor tweaks. Looking at the settings on the LG V60, you do have some differences there, but it's very minor. So now we are in desktop mode. What's next? Well, you, now you can use these devices as a computer, opening up web browsers. I mean, using applications to get work done, such as Word document, photo editing, video editing, cloud server work, and stuff like that. So you can use your LG devices to print documents, right? Again, using it as a real PC. Let me show you guys how you can print out from your LG devices to a printer. As you can see, I'm printing out a document from my LG device 
to a printer and I'm doing it all wirelessly, right? And it's very simple to do. So all you gotta do is just download the app and linking it to your smartphone of your perspective printer and that's it. Everything you could do on your device, you can print it from photos to uh, documents and everything else in between. Now, if you want to sit back and play games on a bigger screen, you could do that in desktop mode. Look, if you want to watch YouTube videos on a bigger screen, you could do that in desktop mode. As far as performance, look, these smartphones is made for that. It's crazy how everybody wants a Snapdragon 1000 processor with 50 gigs of RAM just to open up social media and take pictures or watch YouTube videos. You know what? And I think people want all that power for bragging rights, right? So they can tell people that they just spent $2,000 on a phone with 50 gigs of RAM and 20 terabytes of storage, right? And don't even use the device for the full of its potential. Just to open up social media, just to watch YouTube videos. Look, you're not even using, not even a, a tenth of the power in these smartphones. So bragging is one thing, but do you really use your smartphone? So here's my conclusion, right? And here's some kinds we're using the LG desktop mode. Even though you, we get in Android 11 on a bunch of devices, desktop mode software is different across the board. Look like to me the LG V60 has the software that's really good, kind of close to Samsung DeX. The LG V60 has the capability to do a lot of things that a lot of devices can't do. Unfortunately, that's the truth in desktop mode. But the other devices, you do have to connect a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to, to make it work in desktop mode. Next, another kind is wireless, right? Unlike the Galaxy devices that has wireless decks, the LG devices requires a cord to connect. And most people don't have long cords and adapters and USB type C to HDMI and stuff like that. So use the desktop mode if you're not at home or something like that. It's a lot of planning involved using desktop mode on LG devices. Overall, use the device for what it can do. It has all this power in the smartphone. Use the device for what it can do. Think about this, right? You paid for it, you might as well use it. So using desktop mode on these devices is great, right? Especially if you want to get work done to on a bigger canvas. Use your smartphone for what it is. These devices are so powerful. Look, a lot of people like to brag on, I need to get the 88 processor. I need to get 20, 30, 40 gigs of RAM. I need to get two terabytes of storage. What you gonna do with it? Go on social media, right? Watch YouTube videos. Utilize the device for what it is. The power in these phones is so, it's just groundbreaking powerful. So I wanted to make this video and talk about desktop mode on the LG devices. Again, this was another requested video for my LG folks out there. I wanted to show you guys how to use desktop mode on your LG devices. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about desktop mode on these LG devices. See you guys on the next video. Peace.